Hey, it's Kawaii Slough. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're renovating Bedlington Boathouse. My god, I spent five minutes learning how to pronounce that. Nailed it. Ten points to me. Um, per usual, we are going to completely gut the house <laughs> because it was horrendous. Don't at me. This was the first house I played in when I got The Sims 4. <laughs> and even me and newcomer to Sims 4 was just like, what is this? <laughs> but yeah, um, I apologise for how often I play with the windows. It looks really good by the end of it, but uh, I couldn't get them where I wanted. It's not even that. I just, I was never happy with it <laughs> and I saw also <laughs> I apologize now there is no wardrobe the gasp but there is a woohoo bush you're welcome we got that much in so instead of this being a one bedroom one bathroom it is now a two bedroom two bathroom with a backyard and laundry yay um, we do start with the floor plan. I can't believe I forgot that word. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, so in a minute, you're going to see me struggle with the staircase. I wanted it to wrap around from the front to the side. Didn't happen, but it looked good in the end. So that's a plus. <laughs> Um, downstairs we've got the kids' bedroom. Upstairs we have the master bedroom with a bathroom. Not an ensuite, a bathroom. <laughs> but yes, um, we use mostly my pet, uh, not my first pets, we use that a little bit. The most dominant packs I used were cats and dogs and parenthood. And it's a very blue build. So if you are into blue, you definitely need to download this. And I apologise for any sneezing and coughing. I have a bit of a cold. And it just does not seem to like cooperating with me. <laughs> but yeah. So now we're working on the kitchen. I love this kitchen more than I love life. <laughs> We finally have an actual island that looks good instead of two across from the wall with chairs attached. No, no, I made a real island this time. I'm going to holiday on that island. I'm kidding. It's too small. Um, but yeah. And we do have... I finally found a way to use those windows. I've never used those windows before. I'm so happy I finally got to use them. And, yeah, like, other than the blues, I try and keep the walls neutral as I can so it's not <clears throat> screaming at you, I guess is the right word. And, yeah, I was going to use a bigger table, couldn't get it to fit, so we have six seats instead of, I think it's eight or ten on the other ones. But, you know, it's a small house, you don't need to have ten people over here at once. That's ridiculous. Who even has ten friends? <laughs> I have no friends other than my cats. I'm so sorry. Um, I just realised I forgot to add in the um, celebration box or the decoration box from Seasons. I'm sorry. I'm, it's less than 200 simoleons. You can add it in. <laughs> But yeah, other than that, there's a bin, there's toilets, <clears throat> get famous, <laughs> there's there's everything you need to live your Brittleton Bay fantasy. <laughs> but yeah, we have curtains this time too. <laughs> if you haven't heard me complain about curtains, you're going to now. The curtains on this game are either horrendous or amazing. So half my builds do not have curtains included. I'm sorry. Curtains on this game are literal trash except for like two. And then they only work on certain windows. These are some of the windows they work on and I'm so happy. 
uh, you yeah, your woohoo bush is literally at your front door. So if you go out to the pubs at the night, drink a little juice, and come back with a random townie, he doesn't have to come into your house. Because <laughs> they never leave. Or they just sit on your computer. So, yeah, no, they don't even have to come inside. You're welcome. Take him to the cave when you're done, sister. I just sounded like a certain other SimTuber. And I'm not sure if I'm happy or upset by that. <laughs> I'm going to pretend I'm happy. <laughs> um, yeah, so the main bedroom is very white. Very neutral. And I used the vanity for a change, which made me super happy. Because I rarely get to use the vanity in this game. Um, yeah, and me again just playing around with the curtains. And I'm sick into those season curtains. You can't change my mind on how good they are. <laughs> yeah, I kind of... I don't know who I envisioned living in this house. But I just went to town. It looks so good. Uh, I'm sorry if you don't like that many plants on your yard. I just realised how many I used. But you're in the country. There's plants everywhere. At least in my experience. My, um... Uh, I live in a city, technically. But my partner comes from country. And there's a lot of plants. So if you're, like, in the city and there's, like, one tree around, there's plants out here. That sounded really stupid. It sounded better in my head. Um, anyway, we're on to the lounge room. <clears throat> lounge room, I had a hard time placing everything because the front door is literally right there. But I made it work. And it looks cute and it's blue. Everything is blue. So I, I'm happy. I made blue work. And I don't feel sad. Happily sips coffee. <laughs> But yeah, the t I do end up changing the TV. But I'll, um, that's off for another couple of minutes, I think. And my staircase kept going missing. And I couldn't work out where it went. I'm pretty sure that's the last time it goes missing. I'm sure I fixed the issue. I'm like 90% sure. If you're watching this and work out what I did to make that go away, let me know. Because it's been dragging... It has been driving me nuts for hours. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, so we end up changing a couple of things around here. Um, phew, birdhouse, more plants, so many plants. I'm so happy we do not have to water our garden plants anymore. I remember like The Sims 2 I had to water my indoor plants and they would always die. And I'm gonna tell you now there is a reason I don't own anything but fake plants in real life. <laughs> but I have a lovely garden out front courtesy of my neighbour. <laughs> That's the only reason I have a nice garden. And here we are working on the laundry. I know that floorboard lo looks a little weird. But hear me out, it's an old house. The floorboards aren't going to be perfect. And I like the idea of this being an older house that's been hardly renovated. As much as, I, I know this is a renovation video and I'm like, the house hasn't been renovated. I know that's a little contradicting. I'm sorry, oh, here. So this TV is actually functional and so is the fireplace. As you can see, my Sim done it all. It works. I'm so happy it works. Um, that doesn't stay there long either. I end up replacing that plant and stuff with a desk. Uh, the kids' bedroom, which I tried to make unisex. Mm. So, yeah. Um, and I kind of see more teens living in that room. I kind of wish... We had preteens, but that's probably never going to happen. I just find it how weird the teenagers are in this game. Like, it's... 
I often mistake teenagers for te- um, young adults. So I'm like, why can't my teenager be your girlfriend? And then it's like, oh, well, you're a young adult. You look exactly the same age. I wish there was something that could be done about that so they have more of a distinctive look to them. But, yeah, they just look the same and it bothers me. <laughs> um, Here we are, we're just finishing up the laundry. Like, I've realised how large this laundry area is. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't mean for it to be this big, but it's this big and I made it work. I rocked the big laundry. Another thing, I know that I put laundry in here and I never put hampers in my bedrooms or bathrooms. You don't need to. Your sim will automatically always use the closest hamper with space. So check like two or three hampers in your laundry and they just automatically go to that one. Doesn't matter where they are in the house. Um, Yeah, so we're just starting to wind down the build now. Um, We're just putting in these last few extra things. We finish landscaping. We finish wallpapering. Decorating. I, I can't think what else I do here. Ah, and we've still got one more bathroom to do. Honestly, every build I do, I always forget one room. And actually, my last upload, when I did the um, apartments for Karaoke Legends, I almost forgot a bathroom in there too. But to be fair, bathrooms are really boring. Like, <clears throat> you chuck in a toilet, a bathroom, sorry, you chuck in a toilet, a bath, shower, you're done. They're just boring, and I always forget them. Um, yes, I know I put the cat litter there, but you Sims will be able to use the shower part of it still. Probably not the bath. But downstairs you do have the other bath shower and that is functional. So, yeah. I more just wanted to use it to take up space because I did not have enough room for a bath and a shower. So, bath shower. Uh, but yeah, we're just chucking rugs in there. We're Finishing off this last little bit, we're going to check in another desk. And we're going to landscape this to filth. So many plants. And again, I apologise. But it was such a big, boring, empty space. That plants make it look a million times better. Plants. More plants. Plants. Like, honestly, it's just a lot of plants here. I may <clears throat> start cutting out the landscaping in this build. Anyway, that's pretty much the build, guys. I honestly, yeah. Oh, we screw around with the roof a little more. <laughs> but yeah, that's literally it. Like, that's the build. <laughs> I honestly hope you enjoyed my build today. Um, I'm planning on renovating nearly every lot in The Sims. Minus maybe, like, the land guard mansion because that's really not my style but yeah down below just press the sub button and turn on the notification bell and i will see you guys in the next one i can't wait to leave this town because they the i've been feeling down the cold nights just don't feel the same